Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Unboxing Boxes with Matt. We are now up to episode 8. I guess time flies when you're having fun uh, unboxing boxes. Today I'm going to hack away at these things with a ridiculously stupid device, pizza cutter. Let's get into it. This first box is from someone and it's a DHL box and this is pretty hopeless. Ugh, probably going to cut my hand off. I made this thing good. I don't think my hand was in danger. Alright, we've got to back up. It's more like it. In here, I've got a couple of sets of budgetish headphones. So these are by Tinker, and they say they are high end in ear monitors designed by Tinker. So the T100s. I believe you can grab them on Amazon. So I'll pop these open and we'll have a bit of a look. Pretty fancy looking box. Got some instructions. Actually come with a little carry case which is pretty nice. And inside there is, I guess these hook over your ears. It's actually a little cleaning device which is pretty cool those waxy ears, uh, a bunch of different silicon caps, airplane adapter, one of those big fat end adapters too, so pretty premium package I suppose. Let's check out the headphones themselves. Very bright, transparent red end. Not sure how these are going to look when they're on, which side's which. How's that look? Like a big earring. Let's check out how they sound. Oh, they're definitely loud. Yeah, they seem pretty decent. I'll have to check pricing, but I believe they are pretty affordable. Be interested to see the footage to see how they look in my ears though. So it is uh, pretty bright red. Alright, what's next? This time, oh man. Koshin Each Pro Gaming Headset. It's an interesting brand. Pretty sure it's Chinese. And these look like some of those cheapo SADES headphones. Let's uh, pop them open and have a look. Alright, we've got some instructions. We've got uh, an adapter to that tiny little connector. I don't really know what you use that for. Piggybackable RCAs, an extension, 3.5mm cable. Yeah. So, it's got this big adapter, so you can plug it into, oh, so you can use it with an Xbox or PlayStation. Um, you flick a switch to switch between them, you can switch the mic on and off, and then you can also change the volume on your microphone and on the speakers, on the headphones themselves. And, you get USB and 3.5mm. They're pretty light, pretty big and chunky, no swivel, they look comfy. Yeah. Not the most comfortable pair I've worn. They don't really seem to sit on my ears properly, but they're alright. Little fold down mic. Guess you can see how these sound as well. Not a lot of bass, but sound pretty clear. I really gotta check with some flak files and stuff. You guys can hear it for yourselves. Right? <laughs> now you know exactly how they sound. Alright, next little package. So this came literally like this. I can see what it is, but I'll open it up now and show you guys. So, PC riser cable. Might just leave that sealed up. Thanks Jeremy again from Thermal Take. This will come in handy. Alrighty, this little white package. I know this one's from China as well. We got there. So, you guys might have seen my T77, is it? No, Z77 review. Probably about a month ago. It's a budget mechanical keyboard from a company called Grand, Grand Valor. And I was actually quite impressed with it, but I wanted to see if, you know, if the, if the products were consistent, if they'd handpicked my one perhaps. So I got another one in. 
And that's what it looks like for those of you that didn't remember. So it's the one that has sort of the rainbow, not RGBs, but different colored backlighting for each row. Yeah, they use blue switches that are very similar to the Cherry MX Blues. I think these actually look slightly different. Let me grab the other one and just check it out. So they look identical. So the switches are actually slightly different. So the switches on these look exactly like the Cherries. There's the switches on these. That's the little side bits on them. And I think they're actually a bit quieter. So I grabbed the other box and it appears to be the same product, uh, Z77, I can't really read Chinese so that's kind of limiting me right now but if anyone can read Chinese, what do those white stickers say? Let me know. Aside from that though, honestly, typing on them feels the same. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about, but I'll try and find out. Alright, I've got one more box which I've been hiding behind here because I've got another brand that's not respecting the surprise factor of the unboxing boxes with Matt Series, so I had to sort of tuck it away back here. But let me pull it out. It's got a power cord. So here we've got the QNAP TS451A. There you go. That's white and green, 4 bay NAS that comes with 4 gear RAM. I think it's a budget or mid-range home NAS and it can also be used as a home theater PC. We've got HDMI on the back and a whole ton of connectivity, USB 3 on the front, one of those weird little double connectors that Samsung used on like one phone, and a card reader. So plenty of connectivity and uh, you guys can expect a full review of that one soon. So that pretty much wraps up probably the messiest edition of Unboxing Boxes with Matt and I promise not to try and use this thing again. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys for joining me for another episode of Hardware Unbox. To those of you that already support the channel, thank you so much, it's truly appreciated. And to those of you that would like to support the channel directly, I do have Amazon links and a Patreon link in the video description below. Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys next time.